Let's cook something up right now. That sounds cool, but let's keep searching. And maybe not Patty. Let's do like a sound. And something I like to do is usually when I'm playing with sounds, just nice to put some sort of a compressor on it. Just helps it kind of come alive a little bit. I fuck with that. Aha, that's the loop. Let's let let let's get it together and see. That's crazy. Let's do some things to it.
Let's put a delay on this right now. Just make it come alive a little bit more. What's up, Samuel Morris? time from the top I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like right now we should just kind of throw down some, run through some different drum ideas. So I'm gonna do exactly just that. Three, two, one, let's go. Prada said you need the Kangen water. That's amazing. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> if you're not coming to the stream with Kangen water, what are you doing, y'all? Come on.
let's just dial in these drums more. You guys are distracting me. This is too funny. Okay, let's do this. So these drums, let's get this. So check this, right? Before we let's just let's just put on um radiator real quick. Gives, this gives so much flavor to stuff. Noise is cool. You know we gotta put on knock. Decap. Came out with the craziest plugin. Shout out. up let me take off this auto tune this shit's hilarious um i got a good question here do i work with uh no nah, i fuck it the, the comment got faded out but if if i see it again i'll answer it <laughs> oh yeah it was the question was if i use a template not really not really I used to use a lot of templates and then I found that you just get too locked into it. So I just find like it's just better. I mean, it's, if you can do a template where, you, you know, you get some things set up, it makes sense. Sure. But I, I'm just me. I just like working on a blank canvas. Um, you know, not to say that I haven't had different moments through time where I've done otherwise. But right now I just work on a blank canvas. Right now I'm just flying through Looperator and I'm just just trying to hear I'm, I'm flying through presets and I'm just trying to hear if anything sticks out to me right now and you know there's gonna be a lot of crazy shit going on but you know that's where we kind of like pull back on the crazy stuff but you just capture a couple moments a couple things that you like you stick to that right so I'll show you guys what I mean
where it's at right now, like this is, I, like, I love where this is at right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually sample this with a new audio track right next to it. Let's go. And we're just gonna let this ride out for a second. And I'm gonna stop the loop on this next beat. I'm gonna turn off the full plugin. And now we have the sample. Okay. So, this is a vibe. Let's throw this sample into, into, into simpler and let's chop it up on beat. I'm gonna stop the audio loop and I'm gonna switch to, to simpler here. Get the volume up. And I'm not gonna play it out, I don't think. All I wanna hear is a loop. Okay. But that's yo, what up, what up, Daniel Allen? Nice to see you here, bro. Um, Cabo music, I use both. So I'll 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 cook up on either one. Right now, because we're live streaming and we're having fun, I got to stick to this view. But when you know, if I were to start really going in, then I, I switch over to arrangement, and, and we're gonna do that too at some times. But right now, we're just we're just chopping things up and having fun, you know. But right now, as you can see, these drums, I like this pattern, so I, I chopped it up, sampled it, chopped it up. This is kind of the vibe I like. And I, and to be honest, we got all the top we we got all that top percussion, but. I actually don't want to hear that right now. So I'm going to use a high shelf. And I'm just going to bring it down like this. I, 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 just, I really just wanted to hear just the low end just kind of move like that. And we can even... Shift down, maybe this. There, there, something like that, you know? Cool. Cool, I'm going to open an audio track here. I'm gonna set it up to the Moog 1. And, uh, Get, let's get let's get one let's get another little melody on top Yeah, I love that. What's up, Manny? I'm running, uh, I'm using Universal Audio. I'm using a bunch of UA products right now that's kind of like um, doing it all. But we could talk about that another time. Okay, let's sample that. 
if if Jen if Jen Stark likes it, let's sample it. Let's go, baby. Let's go for another sound. Let's go, let's go for a nice bass sound real quick. with the ACF what's up Samuel thanks thanks for tuning in and, and, and being a part of this and writing in man appreciate your comment okay let's take let's stop this for a second so so this is cool but let's 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 remove uh, all the melodies and go after a B section for the melody. So basically, sometimes like it's just nice to kind of take a second, get some space. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mute uh, all the melodies for a second. So I, I, to be honest, I like vaguely remember what I played earlier and that's okay. Like, I don't need to know exactly everything I did, 
because the point is I don't it doesn't matter the, the point is this is almost like a B section to this vibe so right now I opened up Diva it's a phenomenal synth I love to use and I'm just gonna run through a bunch of different patches you guys can see these are some of the libraries I have and um, we're just gonna we're gonna fly through a couple and see what's up so let's 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 play the drums and let's uh, let's run through some of these sounds and and also as I start to like play around the keys I'll start to get a sense of like what uh, what key we want to be in because I think I played the original like starting on A so we're gonna kind of see what's the right um, what, what, what's the right note to go to for this B section if you will I'm going to flip in the original melody real quick. Stick to that. that. Maybe the song starts with this. Maybe we build it to just 
Yeah, let's let, let's work a little bit more on these drums real quick. So we got we got all these great sections, we got all these great parts. Now we kind of got to put it together. Um, but you know, this is cool. Thanks so much for your comment, Drippy Tone. It's a pleasure, man.
That's cool. I like that vibe. The, the bass has to be worked out better still, but. We got a plugin from Unison called the Mangler. This is a crazy plugin. It just came out. Y'all should check it out. Yo, I'm loving that loop, that vibe. That's crazy. I still, I hear it, but I just, I still hear something else, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up contact here. And, um, you know, there's a lot of really great libraries. Let's see if anything kind of comes out, catches my eye. We're not looking for really much. Maybe we're looking for kind of like a response. If the bass is the call, almost like a response to that, I feel. I don't know. Nothing, nothing's really coming out to me too crazy. Maybe, you know, different versions of Contact for some reason pull up different libraries, but the one that I selected is not coming too strong to me. Nothing's coming out. So I'm going to switch it to another version. Let's see. I'm sure some different libraries will pop up. Maybe, uh, man, this shit's crazy. Let's try Melted Vibes. Damn, if you if y'all if y'all know why this is modulating so crazy, let me know. Thank you so much, fully. Thank you. 
Sick, let's try this out.
So right now, right now, just so you guys know what's going on, I'm, I'm just really looking for a texture sound right now. I'm looking for something, uh, it's something, everything I'm playing right now is really loud and noisy and going off the top, but I'm really just, I'm in my head, I'm looking for like just one rhythmic texture that can kind of help. And once I find that, y'all see, I'll kind of stick to it and make it a little bit more consistent. But right now, it's just a wall of noise, but slowly things get kind of hashed out a little bit clearer and clearer. Aha. Something just like this, you know? Now we're gonna take that, we're gonna we're gonna grab the thing, check this out. We're gonna automate the volume down just to help it move a little bit. It's an hour, y'all. Let's let's see what we did.
Um, let me answer some questions on here. Um, so I'm using Ableton, and I'm using a lot of equipment. There's a, there's a few different things going on here, and um, maybe on some future episodes, I'll have a camera, and I can kind of give you guys a little bit more, like, uh, a more of a view, like I can actually hold the camera up and show you guys kind of more what I see and see and just give you guys maybe I'll do like a setup video I mean I'm sure that'll be really nice and uh man this hour flew by you know it'll be a lot of fun I I I look forward to doing more I look forward to doing collaborative um cookups you know I've been talking a lot with T-minus the last year and uh man we've been having so much fun um, so, uh, you know, we've been talking about doing some, some collab online streams, something together. It'll be nice to build the community online here. And, um, so that's that. And regarding the, the idea that was just kind of, we were cooking up, it's cool. We got, we got two different melody sections and, you know, they, they don't necessarily flow into each other right now, but that's kind of like what almost... You know, the next step from here would be jumping into arrangement view and properly arranging this out because, and just like off the top of my head, how I would probably do it is um, something like this. I'd probably do, oh, also I saw a question earlier, like how am I triggering everything? I'm just, I'm just using command K on Ableton and I'm selecting, I don't know if you guys can see this, it might be too small, but like I'm triggering the channel uh, to be muted and unmuted via hotkeys. So I'm just using numbers right now, you know. You know, I would probably start the song something really pretty like this. And I would also probably, I don't know, I'd probably throw, I'd probably give it a lot more character though. I'd probably do something like I throw a cassette on it and I'd probably open up Q3 before I'd probably do something like this. I, I'd probably shelf some of the low end out. probably do something like this probably start it really kind of like lo-fi out and then eventually I probably build it to I probably take the end piece of this and sample it into it and probably take the end piece of that and just fucking drop it straight into this. Probably give this another round. And then... just a starting idea you guys you know this is this is the process and you never know as as if the song gets worked on more maybe one section gets worked on more than another things get cut all the time things get added all the time and man you'll never know it really only takes one sound a lot of the times i'm i'm layering and i'm having fun but a lot of times it just takes one rhythm one sound and that's it really and uh as we do more of these we're we're, we're gonna probably do a lot more um but let me wrap up this stream. I'm so happy to be on here. I'm so happy to be doing this with y'all. And uh, it's been a blast. It's been fun. <laughs>